shows thinking and feeling. Both thinking and feeling are the activities of the mind. And for awareness to grow, you have to understand the activities of the mind. In this process, the term peace of mind is a contradiction to the process because mind is compulsive commentator. It goes on forever, poking its nose into all that we experience. The mind really the mind rarely gives us a break other than when we are asleep. Yes, it is certainly helpful in a number of times, but the problem comes when the mind takes over. When rather than us using the mind, we are run by it. Mind acts as a master and then creates the major problem. Think, you are the master of the mind. Try a small experiment. With your eyes closed, for next few minutes, stop your mind. Do not allow one thought to intrude. Intrude. Put your total attention into finding peace. The odds are that the more you try to put the brakes on your mind, the busier and noisier it becomes. That is not because it is impossible to be serene, but because trying to be peaceful by dropping the mind is not the best way to go about. Supposing suppressing your thoughts and feelings only creates a fight within and that is natural. When you suppress thoughts and feelings that creates a conflict and a fight within. Here are four suggestions that can be helpful. You have to understand the mechanics of the mind. To know inner peace, we need to move into a different region from the mental, that of consciousness. In other words, we need to move from thinking to being. For that, we do not need to control, tame or stop the mind, but to understand it and familiarize ourselves with its nature. Watch your own mind for a few moments and you will see that it is like the conveyor belt of ideas, theories, arguments, prejudices, doubts, beliefs, dreams, imaginations, aspirations and the whole set of feelings from joy to despair. In some respects, mind is like a child that is always on the go. Mind is always inquisitive. It constantly wanting your attention and to be part of whatsoever, whatever you are doing. If you are dealing with a very active child, as an intelligent parent, you do not try to stop his energies. You understand that it is in constant movement, its curiosity are natural. However, they can be channeled into some form of creativity or physical activity. 
even if it is just running around the house or jogging or anything else you can do something similar when your mind is on long overdrive redirect the energy that fuels the mind rather than trying to suppress the constant stream of thoughts redirect the energy that fuels them for example you may be thinking or preparing for an important interview or feeling anxious about some tests test results when you become aware how man maniac your mind is only making the situation worst only making the situation worse find a more useful outlet for some of the energy for example running swimming playing tennis or any other game dancing jogging even cleaning can provide an effective and practical release of the mental and physical tensions on a household basis cleaning is an effective and practical method to release mental and physical tensions but we do not look at the process of cleaning in that way if you look at this in that way you are engaged meditatively in the process of cleaning if your mind is active but your physical energy is very low if you are in pain or confined to bed you will need another option and that and this option is known as gibberish gibberish comes from the word gibar there lived a mystic who used to lie down under the moonlight and say whatsoever used to come to his mind sensical or nonsensical since then this technique is known as gibberish it is creating nonsense sounds and maybe something you remember from the childhood if there is a child in your immediate life invite him to gibber with you children love it and also make great teachers for that matter this is how it goes find a place and time where you will be undisturbed and you will not disturb others for 10 minutes or longer with your eyes closed so nothing outer will distract you just start making nonsense sound literally gibberish it is like speaking a language that you do not know no without any conscious effort using the words that you are making up as you go along nonsensical sounds let the sound come as a continuous stream and make them as loud as you want to if there are others in the same room patients or other visitors just do it under your breath or lying down is still with your eyes closed you will find that your mind is more silent than usual and that you feel relaxed and peaceful you can even do it silently 
the sound going within. But in the beginning that becomes difficult. Befriend your mind. The mind is the mechanism. The mind is the mechanism to orchestrate your life and meditation as a voluntary movement away from its influence. So, whenever you are about to meditate, and this, this is particularly helpful when just starting out. Gently let the mind know that it can take a rest now. Befriend the mind and reassure the mind that you will return to it later. Psychologically, we all need to know that we are needed. The same thing applies with the mind. The mind needs to know that it is needed and you will come back to it. You will find that your body and mind will benefit from that break. So befriend your mind because mind is a mechanism to orchestrate your life and meditation as a voluntary movement away from its influence. Therefore, reassure the mind that at the moment you take some rest and as soon as you are finished, you will come back to it. Enough for now.